Hey guys, welcome back to GTA. And we are carrying on this incredible walkthrough story. And uh, we have an income call for Lester. I wonder if we're going to talk to him about tell him about Trevor. Let's see. Hey Lester. Oh wow, we've got 651,000 for that. <laughs> we've got a lot of money now. So that's all he was ringing about. Okay, so let's go uh, Let's go meet that guy. The Fed, yeah, oh, the F, the FIB. Federal Investigation Bureau. That's a long driveway. We've got another one that's Trevor. I guess that's the place down on Vis Vis Vespucci Beach. In there, I'm not sure what that's going to be about, but that's a... Uh, Oh, let's go and see this guy. Uh, let's try and get a nice ride. For a journey over there. Oh, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a nice car. Got you. That must be. That must be. Well, it's not his. Mate, I wasn't even after you. I'm just looking for a decent car to drive my my uh, self a uh, fair distance. That's all. Maybe we just pick any old car. What's up there? Nothing really. Okay, I think we'd, we'd just take this one down here. Okay. Okay, I was sure we was not going to get a run over, but we did. Actually, we'll take this orange one. We'll take the orange one coming down. <laughs> We're getting fussy over picking cars. We'll take this orange one. I was going to say, it's not coming with us, is it? No. Oh, we got two mile drive. Okay, better get going. Looks like a muscle type car. Oh! Oh my god, we got some air. And it's ruined. The car is ruined. It didn't take long. It took us two corners and we've completely ruined it. Okay, so I'm not sure if like the FIB guy knows about. Oh, should we? Nah, we'll just keep this car. Uh, knows about Trevor. Oh, that's what we're going to speak to him about, because maybe he knows Trevor's back? I don't know. Well, we'll find out what it's about. Maybe... I don't know, maybe... Well, I, I assume he had something to do with getting uh, Michael out of like, trouble, because he, he got arrested. I'm sure he did. But then somebody goes, faked his death, and I don't know. There's definitely something dodgy going on with this guy that we're going to meet. That's for sure. No, who's Martin? Oh, that meant is that Mendoza? I think that's Mendoza or something. Please, we are a man of our words. Well, I don't think we actually, you know, told him we we're going to pay him back. I think um, it was him telling us we we're paying him back, and kind of making uh, making us say yes. But I guess, ooh. But I guess at least that's done. Oh, that small little touch broke his back, back, uh, back windscreen. This car is ruined. Absolutely ruined. Never mind. Ooh, going, oh, no, we're not. I thought we are going through the tunnel then. Oh, we're not far away now. Not far away now. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed me just babbling on about rubbish, really. And crashing. And crashing. There's been a lot of that. Oh. I guess this is the place. Yeah, we'll just park our nicely nice car out here. Let's see I'm guessing it's around the back. I don't know if he's going to be parked up there or if he's just going to be stood around here. Okay, I think he's going to be stood around here. That's my guess. Well, what a crazy hey, view. Hey. How you doing? About as good as can be expected. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. 
I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. We haven't really talked about anything either. But if no when, he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... And we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? No. You've played dead before, haven't you? Shit. I have always It's flattened and right out. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late forties, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries? It's to break up. Okay. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! 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 We can take his uniform. Oh, that's as close. Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. He is not the brightest spark, is he? Out of there! Damn it. Surrender yourself! You wanna end up on the slab? You cocksucker! Hey, ah, stop! Damn. Ah. Whoa! Ah. I'm reloading! You motherfucker! Good, that's what we need. We need the gun. Right, now we can shoot them all. There we go, because we were supposed to, we needed to hit him straight away. But I didn't. Why is he alive again? I swear I killed him. This the way out? Wait, why is it red? I don't know, but he's dead, so he's not going to come after us. I don't know. moves such as headshots and stealth takedowns okay we might need that there must be some help somewhere in this hostel oh.
Nice, no, we needed that because we are short on health. Okay, we're back up to green now. Oh yeah, we we'll take that. A few bullets in it. A few bullets. I guess we need to go up the elevator. Shit. Need to take the stairs. Oh, okay. We need to take the stairs. The weapons will be in a black trash bag in the evidence room on the top floor. Just need to take the stairs. Where are the stairs? We walk straight past them. Why can't we run? We got the exit sealed. Oh. I should have stayed on the slab. Oh, the car's one. I didn't even see him. Okay, so if we get the green, that would be our weapons back. Okay, so I guess we need to go up again to get to our weapons. Jeez, he walks up these stairs very slow, doesn't he? Nice American flag there. Let's get through the window. We're going to get our weapons first. Oh, wait, he's on a shotgun. Oh, nice. Weapons. Nice. Let's get out the window. Let's go. I don't know what the point of us coming in this in here is. Was but. Well, ouch. That must have still hurt. They're not going to be soft, are they? Whoa! Look at the blood on him. Okay, now we've got to lose the cops. Three star. I don't know what it was, what the point of us going in there was. Not really sure. Let's go, come on. Okay, we need to lose it. We've got a helicopter on us. Okay, I know where to go. I know where to go. We've lost him. We have lost them. We have lost them. Stick to the fields. That's the good, best way about losing the cops. Just go across the fields because the cops don't follow you across it. Nice. Oh, Diane Franklin now. Whoa! F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick. Meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, huh? Look, I'm on my way. Sweet. So we're actually, so we're going to meet Franklin now. I haven't seen him for a little while. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people, but that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data and algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the bureau of the agency is going to get a big drum solo. So like, I care it's about your funding. I'm out, gesture. Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. Meet me downtown. The IAA building. 
You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Okay, interesting. Well, here's uh, here's Franklin anyway. Hey, Franklin, what's going on? Gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip, a long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? You remember? I told you I know people, feds who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus. Christ, Franklin, I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. Problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so. Shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's... I don't hell walking on earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look. I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin. You'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood here, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. But man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. All right, so Franklin's on our side then. What's that car? Frank is on our side. He did something with the someone else. One person got killed. Okay, he's got a lot of stuff to do with Michael now, haven't we? There's at least two missions there. So we got we got the the bird room. We got Michael at home. Okay, we are. All the way over here, Christ, we are miles away from them two missions. But that's right, guys, because it doesn't matter at the moment. Because this is going to be it for the video today, guys. Thank you very much for watching, as always. I hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you're enjoying all the content on the channel at the moment. Be sure to check out the other videos on the channel, not just GTA. There's a lot of, there's a Sherlock Holmes now coming back. Been doing a few of them, more videos of them. And, of course, No Man's Sky at the moment, the big game on the channel at the moment. So, thanks very much for watching, guys. I appreciate all the support on every single video. And with that being said, I'll see you next time.